Hello, my name is Carl Inge Ulvesett. I was uh, the hookup manager for Johan Sverdrup Place One development. I'm now uh, onshore manager for Northern Lights project uh, in uh, uh, CCS in Øygarn. So that is uh, a change from Johan Sverdrup. Uh, I would say that uh, Johan Sverdrup was a very amazing, good project uh, for all of us. And uh, we started the production last year in uh, October. And this was three months before originally start update. Uh, the planning of uh, uh, hookup of uh, Johan Sverdrup uh, was, uh, took us around five years. It was uh, a 100,000 ton topside weight installed offshore, four topside, three connecting bridges. And we had uh, two seasons for the hookup work. Uh, first, we had uh, the riser platform and the drilling platform installed offshore. That was a so called standalone phase where we just uh, had a uh, quartering in uh, Flotel, safe Sephirus, uh, and, and uh, Haven. And uh, there we had. Uh, the offshore workers and operation people uh, in those quarters. And we had hookup methodology personnel in integrated in the engineering phase. And uh, in the hookup, uh, we develop uh, engineering work package EVPs in order to detail out uh, the hookup work to uh, be performed. Based on uh, the huge hookup uh, for, for, for topside, uh, it was uh, planned with uh, a single lift uh, strategy for, for three of the platforms and, uh, and uh, the riser platform that was a more traditionally module type of installation. Uh, totally, we had the plan for more than uh, Two million eight hundred thousand uh, offshore hours. So it was a huge concept, and we had to figure out how to do this uh, practically. And uh, the strategy was then to to uh, have uh, more than one hookup contractor in order to facilitate uh, these uh, hookup hours offshore. And uh, for that reason, uh, we, we were looking for a digital arena in order to, to have control of the hookup work to be performed. We had heard from one of our partners in uh, Johan Sverdrup uh, uh, that for the Edvard Grieg development, they had used PIMS hookup and were very satisfied with that. And we were looking into the experience from that project and see how we could further develop it for our case. Based on that, we established a service agreement with Omega for PIMS hookup. And then we were able, since this was then our company system, we were then able to present this for the bidders for, for the hookup uh, and the hookup contractor then were obliged to use our system for work order, planning and all if they were going to be on the tender list. And in the end then we were able to award the hookup contract uh, 2017 in January we awarded a hookup contract to two hookup contractors. Arca was awarded a contract for the hookup of the riser platform, and Abel was awarded the contract for hookup of uh, the drilling platform and the connecting bridge to the drilling uh, to the riser platform. Uh, the contract format was a reimbursable contract with some incentives. And uh, the incentives that was based on uh, performance, 
earning of uh, man hours according to the plan, installation factor and cooperation with other hookup contractor. And we also held uh, the option for the hookup in uh, the 29 season uh, as an option in the contract. So if they were performing very well the first season, they will, will be a competitor for the 29 season, the last season of uh, the hookup. Uh, in August uh, 2018, we awarded the scope for the uh, 2019 scope and uh, ARCA got a uh, hook up for the living quarter and the yellow field and uh, ABEL got a contract for the P1 and uh, the connecting bridges. The main learnings from uh, the Johan Sverdrup hook up uh, is that uh, it was essential to have a uh, digital hookup uh, portal and then we were able to uh, present that for the hookup contractor so they uh, were using our tool to plan uh, making the work orders and do all the works in, uh, in our system. So we had digital work orders, we had uh, control with the logistic uh, we had uh, established work process. We had uh, integrated planning tools uh, linked to the work orders. And we had all the time online status on, uh, on the work. My key takeaway here is that it was very advantage uh, to have this digital arena and a company system for, for for monitoring uh, the progress in the hookup work and, and also it was very lean process to get information from the engineering system and also uh, follow on to the work orders and also reporting the status. And uh, the good thing with the two hookup contractors also was the availability of a huge number of resources, both uh, offshore workers and also uh, planning uh, resources uh, onshore and we also had uh, availability uh, of uh, a huge competence uh, from the, both uh, these hookup contractors and they were able to exchange equipment among themselves and, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and cooperate also on technical issues and that uh, functioned very well because we had very good incentives if they were, uh, were able to share information and cooperate in a, a good way. We were all the time uh, uh, monitoring their performance and uh, the installation factor in particular and also uh, the manual used. And that was a very important uh, parameter for us to, to monitor their performance and also their ability to follow our plans. The first picture is a, a picture uh, from the flare structure uh, on the riser platform. We can see uh, the main deck on the riser platform and we can see the drilling platform in the background. We have on the left hand side, we have Safe Sephiris, the flotel. Uh, with a bed capacity of uh, 450 beds and in, in uh, the far end we can see Jektel Haven uh, linked to the drilling platform. We, we have uh, a bed capacity of uh, 444 beds. We were also in a period uh, using uh, hot bedding uh, in order to increase the capacity on the Haven and then we were up to 555 beds. And uh, the next picture showed the installation of the P1 platform. That is uh, in uh, March 2019. We are installing the top side for P1 platform with uh, the All Seas pioneering spirit. 
And uh, in the background, we see uh, the drilling platform and we see uh, on the left hand side, uh, we see the riser platform. And uh, in the far back, we see also the haven. And uh, the top side is docking in on, on the jacket leg installed uh, previous year. And the last picture, there we see the installation with t -Alf, the bridge between the P1 platform and, uh, dr and the drilling platform. And uh, we see uh, how neat it uh, go in position between these two installations, the, these two top sides. Mm -hmm.